Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a mood boosting yoga sequence. As we start to move into those colder months, sometimes uh, the weather changes can have an effect on how we feel. The uh, daylight savings time and getting darker earlier can have an effect on how we feel. So I wanted to just do a quick yoga sequence for you that you can do just in case you're starting to feel those uh, stress and anxiety and depression symptoms start to set in. And hopefully this can help you out. So we'll just begin in an easy seated position and you want to make sure your hands are clean because we're going to do some alternate nostril breathing, which involves our hands. Alternate nostril breathing is great for relieving stress and anxiety. So just rest your left hand on your knee. Take your right hand and fold down the first finger and your index finger. Go ahead and exhale completely. You can close your eyes if you like and use your thumb to block off your right nostril. Take an inhale through your left nostril. Close off the left nostril. Exhale through your right nostril. Inhale through your right nostril. Close off your right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close off your left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close off the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale. Close off your left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close off the right and exhale left. Then just release your hands, coming back to your natural breath. Using this time to set an intention for your practice. What do you want to get out of the practice today? How do you want to feel? Take an inhale, exhale completely. Take your left hand and bring it to the ground and then take your right arm and reach it up and over towards the left. That left forearm can come down to the ground or you can keep that elbow straight. And then if you can, bring your gaze up towards the sky. Throughout this practice, we're going to be doing a couple poses that open up the chest to open up the heart chakra and also some hip opening poses to release any pent up emotions. Take an inhale, come through the center. Exhale, lower the right hand down and scoop the left arm up and over. Right forearm can come down if you like. Take an inhale, come up to center. Interlace those hands up above you as you push the palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach the hands forward. Just as far as you like. Letting the chest relax down. Getting a stretch through those arms and the back. Inhale, exhale, come back up to a neutral spine. Let's roll up to hands and knees. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips will work into some cat cow. So rotate the eyes of the elbows forward. Fingers are spread wide, pressing down through the fingers. Inhale, lift the chin and flip the tailbone upward, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest. 
They'll move in and out of these two positions with their breath. Inhale as you arch the spine. Exhale as you round. Let's do one more round. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your spine back to neutral. Bring your big toes together and the knees out wide. We'll start to float our hips back towards our heels, coming to child's pose. Remember, you can keep the hips lifted if they don't quite reach all the way back to your heels. You can also bring a block or a pillow underneath the hips. And then relax down towards your mat. Fully surrender in your child's pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body back up to a table position and we'll move into pigeon pose. So we're just sliding our right knee and ankle up towards the top of the mat, letting that foot come over towards the left and extend your left leg straight back. You can also modify with upside down pigeon or if there's a lot of space between your hips and the floor, tuck a pillow underneath there. We'll press into the hands, inhaling, opening the heart, lifting the chin. Exhale, if you feel comfortable, you can come down to sleeping pigeon with the hands stacked, letting the forehead rest on the hands. Take an inhale, exhale, come back on the hands and you can roll onto the right hip to come out of the pose. Coming back up to table pose. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Slide your left knee and ankle up towards the top of the mat and start to extend that right leg back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower down to sleeping pigeon, stacking the hands. You can also stack the fists. Take an inhale, exhale, come back up on the hands, roll onto the left hip and make your way back up to a table position. From here, we'll come up into a down dog. So you can tuck your toes under and lift the hips up and back. If you're not ready for down dog, stay down on the knees and extend the arms out. Come into puppy pose instead. Just pedal your feet out here in your down dog. Getting a nice stretch in the back of the legs and the hamstrings. Press the chest towards the thighs, opening that heart some more. And then bring your gaze up in between your hands and walk your feet up until they're behind the hands. Inhale for a half lift with the hands on the shin. Flat back, neck in line with the spine. Exhale, lower down to a forward fold. And feel free to bring a deep bend into the knees and grab the elbows here, rocking side to side. Let that lower back release.
release the elbows bring the hands back onto the ground and we're going to step back with the left foot coming down on that left knee let the right knee be aligned over the ankle and then we're going to sweep our arms up for a low lunge you can let the hands meet interlacing the fingers and letting the index fingers point up towards the sky and a, maybe a slight back bend here to open the heart you can also rest the hands on the knees if this is a lot for you take an inhale exhale bring the hands down on either side of the foot and we are going to bring our left leg parallel per perpendicular with our mat and then extend our right leg out to the side sweep the arms up inhale and you can let the right hand rest on the extended leg as you scoop the left arm up and over or you can let this right hand come down to the ground and maybe your gaze comes up towards the sky Again, inhale exhale bring that left hand down walk that right knee back coming back to a table position tuck the toes under and lift the hips up and back come into your down dog again you may feel a difference in one hip than the other and we'll get ready to repeat those poses on the other side Bring your gaze up in between your hands and walk your feet up behind your hands. Inhale up to your half lift. Exhale, fall down to your forward fold. Grab the elbows here if you like. And then from here, step back with the right leg. Top of the foot comes flat left knee is aligned over the ankle and then sweep the arms up for your low lunge remember you can also rest the hands on the knee inhale exhale bring those hands down on either side of the foot bring your right knee this time perpendicular with your mat extend that left foot out to the side sweep the arms up inhale left hand can rest on the extended leg or it can come to the ground as the right arm reaches up and over the ear inhale exhale release the right hand down step that left foot back from here we'll bring our knees close together and start to float our hips back towards our heels for a variation on child's pose. Knees are touching, our legs are touching, and our arms are going to rest at our sides, and we're just going to fall down over the knees. Fully surrendering down into your child's pose, letting your body relax and release. Letting any tension leave your body down in your child's pose. Take an inhale in your child's pose. Exhale, release, floating your body back forward. Coming back up to a table position. And then we're going to lower our bodies down to our belly. Take your arms, bring them out wide on either side of your mat. From here, take your left knee, bringing it 
perpendicular with your hip. So just coming up on the left knee, letting your gaze come over to the left. And if you'd like a little more, go ahead and lift that left leg and let it touch over to the right side for a scorpion pose. Getting a nice spinal twist here and also opening the chest and heart. Getting a release in the front of the hip as well. You inhale, exhale, come back to the belly. And you can stack the hands and rest the forehead down for a rest in between sides. And we'll release our arms back out to the side and do the same thing on the other side. So you can come up on the right knee, let your gaze be over to the right, or you can lift that foot and let it come over to the left side. Exhale, come back down to your belly, stack your hands and rest. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're just going to flip over to our back. Bringing the feet flat on the ground with the knees bent. Letting the hands rest at your sides and walking the heels back until they graze the fingertips. Knees are over the ankles. And from here, we're going to tuck the, tail, tuck the pelvis towards us, letting that lower back meet the ground. And then squeeze your glutes and lift your hips off the ground until you're in a bridge pose, making a nice ramp from the knees down towards the shoulders. And if you want more, you can interlace those fingers underneath you, rolling the shoulders underneath your body and pressing the sternum towards the chin. Take an inhale, exhale, release, and come down one vertebra at a time. And from here, we'll move into legs up the wall. So if you're close to a wall, you can just scoot close to the wall and let your legs come up against the wall. Maybe you can let them rest on a chair or you can just lift your legs up towards the sky, pressing those heels towards the ceiling. And just let the hands be at your sides, pressing into the hands gently. Legs up the wall is another good pose for relaxation. A great pose to do for a couple minutes before bed. It is also often said that toxins can settle into our feet. So when we invert our legs, we let those toxins go into our bloodstream so that we can expel them later. Inhale, exhale, hug the knees into the chest. And then just let those knees fall over to the right side. You can let your left arm extend out to the side. Also bend at the elbow, making a cactus shape. Getting one final spinal twist here. Trying to relax into your twist. Trying to let that back release any tension it may be holding. Inhale. Exhale, hug the knees 
back into the chest and then let them fall over to the left side. Right arm can extend out to the side or you can bend at the elbow. Again, inhale. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest one last time. Rocking side to side, maybe you move the knees in a circle. And then release your knees, coming to Shavasana, letting those feet reach the corners of the mat and letting the arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. And let's just take a couple of cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more, inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Completely relax and melt down into the floor, into the surface that you're resting on. Completely letting go of any tension you're holding in the body. On your next inhale, I want to you want you to envision the feelings you want to cultivate here. Imagine how you want to feel. Once you have that feeling in your mind, I want you to give that feeling a color. Any color you can think of, any color you like. Begin to imagine that color slowly rising up in your body. Imagine that color rising from your feet up towards your legs, moving into your knees and your thighs. It continues to rise up through your hips, your belly. It fills your chest, your arms and fingers. your neck and your head. Allow that color to fill each crevice of your body. And start to see if you can feel those feelings that you assigned that color to. On your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Coming back into your body and back into the room. When you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. 
just taking a moment to reflect and show yourself gratitude for this practice today. Then when you are ready, gently come up to a seated position, a comfortable seated position. And we'll gather all those good positive feelings as we inhale the hands up above us in prayer. Exhale, float them down to heart center. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you all for joining me for this mood boosting yoga sequence. I hope you feel good. I hope you feel relaxed. I hope it helped you out. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Peace and love.